K-State started off pretty good, kind of a coming out party for that K-State team that, that year. Does this team kind of have a similar path? You know, we'll, uh, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, I hope so. I think, uh, um, I know that, uh, I feel, I'm so proud of all of our guys. I mean, our, their mindsets is, have been, you know, have been awesome. They've been locked in. They've been focused, you know, on the task at hand and, um, you know, been able to, uh, you know, play some pre pretty clean football, really. You know, I mean, we haven't, uh, you know, we've taken care of the football. We've, uh, you know, played well at the line of scrimmage and, uh, you know, we're going to need to continue to do, to do those things this Saturday. You know, it's a big test for us. What would it mean? What would a victory mean just for for this team, kind of on ESPN, the big stage, just kind of the first big test? I mean, it it would be a huge step. You know, and and but but at the same time, I mean, uh, you know, it's it's just the next step. You know, because every step's important. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of good things, but we all know we have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep, uh, you know, stay disciplined, do, you know, do the things that have, uh, you know, put us in a position to, you know, to have another good step and, and keep moving forward. There hasn't been a ton that's been put on Skyler's plate so far yet. You know, he really hasn't been asked to do tons of throwing in, in the first two games. I imagine that might change a little bit this week. How, how do you think he might have to change mentally with that coming in? You know, he, he's done a great job. I mean, he's, he's prepared well. Um, he's really had a great understanding of the game plan on all levels. And, um, you know, I, it, every game is different. You know, you never know how it's going to go if, uh, and what section of the game plan you're going to need at the time because they're on the other side scheming and, and we're going to see some new things and see some different things as well that, you know, they're scheming us for. So it's just a matter of you know, adjusting and, and, and finding the right things at the right time to, to execute them. If that, that means we've got to put it in the air more, you know, early, then, then okay, we've got to answer the bell and do it and, and be prepared to do so, and, um, and I know he will be. You have a lot of experience playing quarterback in tough environments. None of us probably do. Can you tell us what it's like? Is the noise the biggest problem, or are there other things we don't think about that are tough? You know, it, it, the noise is difficult. I mean, I mean it is. You, it just makes everything harder. Uh, I mean, from Cadence uh, communication, from calling in the huddle. I mean, there's times when, you know, if you're in, a, in the back of an end zone, that I mean, you're yelling as close to, you know, you and I are right now, and, and you're having a hard time hearing me and vice versa. And so, uh, I mean, it's always a challenge, but it's kind of a fun challenge. It, I mean, it makes you sharp. Uh, you know, we, we've always and in, in are continuing to practice in, you know, loud environments with speakers and sound and, and just to make sure that we're prepared because, uh, I mean, we're, we're fortunate to play in a conference that, I mean, every place we go is going to be loud and, and it's going to be intense. So, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we will be ready for it and, and uh, it'll, it'll be good. The offensive stats for your team are just sick right now. What, what has impressed you the most with the offense? You know, I, I think probably the biggest thing for me has is, is just been how uh, every position group and, and every uh, every group have have let the offense do the work. You know, they've everyone has done their role. No one has has done had to do anything outside themselves or a you know a superhero performance. I mean, we're yes, we have a lot of guys that are doing a lot of good things, but mm -hmm. you know, it's just a bunch of people doing their job and you know and executing their assignment, and and it's allowing the you know the vehicle to move pretty fast. You know, mm -hmm. and and so you know, that's something we got to continue to do. You know, and it's. As that's been Coach Kleiman's message to them. It's our Coach Mess's, uh, you know, message to them. It's our mess. My message to them is, hey, we just got to be, be ourselves, do our thing, you know, execute our, our assignment, our job, and then, you know, and then all of a sudden you're going to have a lot of people touching the football. You know, you're going to have a lot of different people getting yards, a lot of people, uh, different people scoring, and and if the QB's doing his job, which uh, which he has done done well of of just making sure we're protecting the football and. Uh, you know, and getting it to the right guy at the right time, and you know they're going to do something with it. With how well Skyler's played, has it been hard to critique what he's done? I mean, what what do you have as far as a critique? Oh no, I, I mean there, there's always, uh, I mean there's always things you can can get better on, and that's one thing that I've I've loved coaching him about. I mean he's uh, he, he's very hard on himself, you know, and, and really uh, finds little things whether it's footwork or eye placement or even a little bit of timing or accuracy, you know, and I mean, you know, there's, he's not satisfied and there's I mean, little things like that. I mean, he throws that, 
uh, you know, second touchdown to Malik and you know, left it a little bit underthrown and inside. Malik comes back and makes, you know, makes a huge play and it's a touchdown. But, you know, he and I both know that it wasn't exactly where it needed to be. And it, just things like that, that, yeah, he's playing well. He's doing a heck of a job. Uh, but there's there's always you know, lots of little things that, you know, can be better. And that's part of the fun of it is, is getting better. You were last.